Okay, good morning everyone and welcome back to another episode of how to use the navigation radius in different airplanes within Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today I'm here in the TBM 930 which uses the Garmin 3000, the G3000 avionics. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, here is how we use the nav aids on this airplane. So we have this screen here that help us control everything. In this screen we can select MFD which is the one that has is selected right now. And in this MFD if you press nearest VOR here are the listed all the nearest uh, VOR nav aids. So let's say I want to tune uh, Seminole, which is Sulu, Sierra Sulu Whiskey, this one, on NAV2. So I press the frequency here and select NAV2 if I want to make it active or standby. Let's say I want to make it active. So there it is. And let's see, I want uh, Mariana here, Mike Alpha India, in NAV1. So again, I press here, press active and that's my frequency in NAV1 radio. So now, if I go to primary flight display, I have my bearing pointers here, so I can select bearing number 1 to NAV1 and bearing number 2 to NAV2, I have to press twice. And that's it. I have in my HSI my bearings pointers number 1 to Mariana and number 2 to Seminole. Now you can do these bearings here as well for that this is the default screen, so you will have to uh, select PFT settings and here you have again your bearings, you can change from all the different options. If you want to select uh, to navigate via VORs instead of GPS, then let me change to heading mode here first, because I was uh, navigating via GPS. So then you have the navigation source here, again in the PFD, you select and you change either to VOR1 or to NAV2, whatever it is that you need. And if you are in NAV1, you turn the course with this knob here. If you are in NAV2, then you select the course with this one here. So that is how you use the navates. Now there is another, let me go back to GPS here and go back to nav mode here. So I'm back in GPS. Now there is another way, the, the old school way, let's let's call it that, to change frequencies and that is using the navcom menu here. And then you go to audio and radius and then here you have nav1 on and nav2 so if you know the frequency for instance let me see here let's say I want to select frequency 109.0 in nav2 so I will go here 1090 and then if I hit enter I guess that's gonna be the standby frequency and when I'm ready to make it active then I hit transfer and that should give me yeah 109.0 here which is uh, in this example Greenville and uh, there it is so those are two ways to tune the nav radius in the TBM 930 I hope you like it this oh one more thing the ILS how do I find the frequencies for ILS's for that situation you will have to go to MFD and instead of the nearest you will select waypoint information then select airport and then right now I have Pensacola selected if, if you if you need something different then you, you will write whatever you, you need here and uh, so for Pensacola you select frequencies you, you may have this information first so you have to select frequencies and then you have to scroll up or down till you find the ILS frequencies for instance if you want to shoot the ILS to runway 17 then this is the frequency 111.1 that you can load in standby to have it ready to, to select it when you need it so that's the way to, to look for 
ILS frequencies in the TBM 930. So that's it for today guys, I hope you really like it, this short tutorial. If you have questions or comments, uh, let me know and please like and subscribe and share this video with the persons that you think they may be in trouble uh, finding this kind of information. Thank you, until the next time.